What's going on everyone? Welcome into another AFK journey video. We are on day 16 of the free to play journey. Uh, this video is going to be more of like a little progress report in our account. Talk about some things that we've uh, noticed uh, as far as like resources and, and certain characters and stuff like that that we've been utilizing a little bit more. Uh, we'll go over all the game modes and everything and talk about what I'm trying to do to progress a little bit further in them. And uh, yeah, pretty much go from there. As for right now, uh, if you guys have already seen, I made up my mind in a video basically stating that I am going to hold off on summoning any more for Floribel. My reason behind that, and I'm just going to touch this briefly because I did a whole video on it before, uh, which is out now if y'all want to go check it out, is she takes too much investment to get to like her good point as a character. And as a free-to-play account, it's, uh, it doesn't make sense to invest so much on a singular character at the moment. Right now, you're trying to work on variety and building up more core teams for certain uh, events and certain stages and stuff like that. Certain things like um, like getting more characters for like the Legend Trial is more important in my eyes. Getting more characters to be able to, you know, do your dream realm a little bit easier and stuff like that. And this is the one that I said that she would be good on. So we get to actually test her out today and, uh, you know, see how she actually performs on something that she would be good at rather than the one that we did before uh, yesterday where she really didn't hold up to it. I mean, she died very quickly and stuff like that. So it wasn't something that um, she was just performing too well on. Actually, let me take a look because I saw they updated this. So, okay, we're going to go her, we're going to go Odie, um, we're going to go uh, Thorin, and we're going to go our healer, of course, Smokey. And Cecia, that's who I was trying to say, sorry. Let's go ahead and throw her in. Floor bell right there, and then we'll get Odie right here. Not Odie, uh, Smokey right here in the middle. We have everyone set up where they need to go. Let's see how she performs on something that she's supposed to fight in. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm holding off right now. If we get the release of the next character before her banner ends, and uh, it looks like, you know, it may be worth going into her a little bit more, then of course my decision could change. But as of now, I'm waiting to see what the next character is so I can truly make a decision if I want to go all in for her. I'm not spending any of the resources, so I'm not saying, you know, don't get her and then go spend all your resources on other banners or anything like that. Uh, it, it's kind of just like we're holding off to see where we end up at and uh, see if it's worth actually going in a little bit more invested into her or we're going to hold off and, uh, you know, stick with what we have and kind of go the same path that we've been doing. All right, so we got to about 40 percent, which is better than what we had before. And we actually survived till the time ran out. So, I mean, I feel like she did a good job in this. We're 49%. Man, we were almost there. We're almost there. We get our chest, which is nice. Nice getting those chests. They make a big difference. Uh, if you get to 40 on the epic, you get one of these bad boys right here. And it gives you a huge bonus right here. Um, hmm, I'm going to go with the healers. The supports, I mean. So that way we can boost up our support a little bit more. We'll kind of go over the resonance. So this is where my resonance is right now for each of the equipments. We are on uh, 125 for this. We're on 125 for that. 125. I think 125 basically for everything. We have a couple things we can upgrade. We're going to hold off on that to see if we can get all of the equipment all at once and not really waste any of those resources on certain things. In the uh, battle drills, um, she actually works very well. I'll, I will be honest with that. She does work very well in the battle drills. So utilize her if you have her already. Uh, she'll work well at the stage one in there. Not, not amazing, but she works okay because there is like AOE, you know, uh, aspect to it. Go ahead and collect everything so we can get this chest up. We got a little single summon. Y'all know, y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta learn. I'm the single summon daddy. I love single summons. I don't wait for tens. I'll put it. I'll put those single summons in. So we got those bad boys. Uh, Dream Realm. Where do we end at at the other ones? So we'll just go over over everything. That twenty one doesn't count. So we're one forty seven, one forty seven, and one oh four. Either 
I'm slacking or people are spending money, one or the other. But I feel like I've been progressing to the utmost extent that I possibly can. So there's that. Uh, as for the Legends Trial, we're sitting around 29 uh, to 30 on each of those. This one just refreshed right now. So obviously we will be knocking that one out. Actually, let's see if we can pop this one with our new character that we got. Who are we going to switch out though? Uh, we'll switch her out. Or we'll switch him out. And where's she at? Boom, right there. Let's see how she holds up. Put that attack speed on Parissa so that way she can get her ult off quicker. I may actually try her in the back to see. I'm interested to see how she actually holds up with the attack speed. Let's see what the damage difference is right now. So she did about half. Let's see if we switch positions, if she'll do about the same. We'll switch their positions and put her over there. Actually, we're going to have her jump to him. Something like that. I'm not going to lie. That knockup is nasty. All right. Let's check it out. Nah, she performed very close. Uh, very close. Of course, it was a different set of enemies as well. So she performed close, but that was an A rank versus an S rank. So I would, I would only assume that. We'll check out the arena real quick. We are almost there. We're two, 257 or 2,572 out of 2,650. We should be able to get there today without a problem. We'll get into the next tier. Um, last thing we need to do is check out the Primal Lord to see where we are at on this. We're on day seven for the Primal Lord, and he is at 45%. So 45% is where we are at on the Primal Lord. We'll go ahead and do an attempt before we knock out our single summons and wrap up the video. So our highest damage was almost 5 million. This is the recommended. Nothing has changed. We haven't added. She was not added in here, so she's not recommended for this. So let's go ahead and dive into it. See, it's still using the same setup I had already. Yes. So we'll go ahead and try this again and see what we can do in terms of damage. I'm going to try with Odie and then I'm going to try with Coco to swap them out to see if the buff allows them to do more damage. But let me know what y'all think about um, skipping on Floribel. Let me see what y'all's ideas are and your thought processes and everything if it's similar to mine. Uh, I, I think she's an awesome character overall, and she's probably going to be one of the best in-game characters that we have right now in the roster. It's just that there's so much investment that needs to go into her that you're stuck spending all of your resources, and you're only getting one character over and over and over instead of building up a complete roster of characters that will allow you to progress in all sort and types of uh, content. That's, that's my thought process behind it. That's one of the reasons that I uh, wanted to take the time to make that video today to explain everything on it to make sure that it, it was clearly understood that the goal of this account is just pure natural progress on every single piece of material. Okay, so we beat our record uh, on damage. We'll try it one more time with Coco to see if that makes a difference. But I, I think that it'll probably be close. If not, right around a little bit less, uh, I'm assuming. Damn, that's a dope looking freaking outfit right there. Holy cow. That's that whale money. Or that's that whale outfit. All right, here we go. Let's try this. Oh, and I finally got the horns. I found them. They were in a little side quest. No one told me. Y'all were, hold, were holding off. Y'all didn't want me to get the antlers. 
I was one of those bad boys for a while. Every time I do honor duel, I'm like, damn, I want them antlers. Everyone has them. I finally got them today. I was slacking on doing some of the side quests. I know. My bad. My bad. We're on it, though. I, I feel like we're making kind of a little bit better time and damage on this one. But we'll see. Some of these abilities he does kind of slows it down, too. Oh, he was trying to take Odie out. Or he was trying to take uh, Smokey out. Okay, 5 mil 200,000 was what we, we stopped at. Oh, he took out Kruger. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty dang close. Okay. A tad bit less. Well, let's go ahead and knock out these single summons real quick. And then we can go ahead and call it quits for today. Let's pop over here. What do we got? We got a single summon on Epic right here. This is the only one that we got. Let's hope that we beat this pity right now and get us an S rank. Come on, yellow. And it's a green. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for sticking in. I'll see y'all in the next video.